Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your friend Max here. Welcome everybody to vlog zero on my Toronto trip. It has been a minute since I have vlogged. Kind of miss it. It's been since May. Let me catch you up on what's been going on. First things first, I'm going here for three weeks. Toronto, that is. And I'm going to spend Christmas and New Year's Eve with everyone there. Also going to meet some new people. You'll see that. I'm really hyped about that. But... Um, it is Ash Williams and Courtney's birthday on December 16th, which is Saturday. It is Friday night now, and I'm going to surprise them. This has been in the works with Brittany and I since last summer. We planned this, and it's finally happening. Now, they have zero idea I'm coming. They think I'm coming next weekend on the 23rd for two weeks. Instead, I'm coming a week earlier. And somehow we've kept this a secret since July. Hopefully, it lasts until I walk into the door. But I'm really hyped. I'm really hyped. Summer... Brittany was here. She was in Saskatoon. She was here for three weeks. Um, we went to Lake Louise. I'll show pictures here if I remember when I'm editing. Um, we went to Calgary. We, it was a really great trip. I didn't vlog any of it. I vlog every trip and I kind of wanted that one to be a little more just us focused. Do I regard it a little bit because I don't have as much footage to look back on? Maybe a little bit, but still it was an amazing trip. And yeah, we planned that this trip back then. So it's been almost like 150 days, which is wild, but Finally, we're here. I had my last day of work today, and we're going to head off to Calgary first, and then Toronto. These vlogs ever. Y'all would know that I crave Tim Hortons as soon as I get to the airport. This time is no different. I'm also absolutely on fire. Um, sweating like you would not believe. And uh, I've got two bags this time, plus my suitcase. <sighs> It's gonna be a long one, but I'm hyped, and I hope you guys are too. Okay, enough enough footage here. I didn't even explain why this is vlog zero. So we're doing so much on the first day I'm there that the first vlog would end up being like two and a half hours long. So I figured I would make this vlog zero, which will be the travel vlog, and then vlog one will be when we actually start doing stuff. You feel me? You feel me? Timothy Hortons. Quick update. Um, leaving in about 20 minutes or so, hopefully. Start boarding. Tired. Finally boarding the flight to Calgary. Oh. And we's in Calgary. <laughs> yeah. It has been a while since I've been at the Calgary airport. But my god, this place is nice as hell. Sort of like Pearson now. Thankfully, I'm not super far from my next gate, so I don't have to walk around too much i don't know if i'm wanting food or not i might debate it as a chili's there which is pretty cool i don't know if i'm craving food or not i guess we'll see i think i got about an hour and 40 ish minutes until my next flight um i had a middle seat this time of like three seats so i couldn't like fall asleep or anything it's only an hour flight it wasn't too bad turbulence was kind of kind of shitty but other than that, it was pretty pretty good. I can't really complain too, 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 too much. But this flight, I got a window seat so I could hopefully sleep a little bit. You know, Starbucks would hit right now. I can't lie. Okay, so we got some Starbucks. I got a, I usually get the Apple Oak Crisp. It's like my favorite drink. Um, but right now they're out of it apparently. So I had to get the brown sugar one. I haven't had it before. Honestly, it kind of slaps. This is what we're rocking with here. So I'm not really looking to walk super far if I don't have to. And I think that's my gate. Right up there. I think that's my gate. 74. So fully it doesn't change and I don't have to walk anywhere. <gasps> Fun zone. I mean, come on now. The YYC Fun Zone is where I... That's where I run shit. Um, every time my mom, my sister, and I would go to... Um, Ontario to visit my family. We'd always stop in Calgary. We'd always have a connecting flight in Calgary because we used to live in Alberta too. And even when we were f coming from Saskatoon and all the time, my sister and I would go to the same play place that was just outside of security when my mom would go outside to smoke. And yeah, it was nice. I don't think it's here anymore though because I think it was over here. I think that might be it, which is very mid because it used to actually be like a fun play place and it was something my sister and I always looked forward to so it's a little story into my childhood the gate and there's a bunch of people waiting there and just as I'm walking by it says that 
Apparently the flight that I'm on is super full. And so they're gonna need 20 people to volunteer their bags. I got this big ass bulky thing because I didn't wanna have to pay more for another checked bag, right? So I've been putting this in the stow ahead and it like, it like barely fits. It's like barely fits. So I'd rather put it under. Now I thought they would take it immediately so I could not have to carry it right now. Um, but unfortunately, I do have to carry it now. But I won't have to worry about putting it in the overhead and I could just have my backpack. So that'll be nice. And it'll just be with the regular plane stuff. So that's at least nice. And yeah. kids over here at the, uh, there's like a piano kind of in the middle of the concourse. And they're trying to play the start to the Kanye West song. But they're just fucking it up by a couple of notes and it's pissing me off. What I actually talked about uh, in terms of what's going on when I get there. Um, so I'm landing in Toronto. Nobody's greeting me at the airport other than my Uber driver, whose name I think is Ian. Um, he's picking me up and I, the Uber actually wasn't that expensive, about 65, I think it was. Take me to Brittany's house and I'm supposed to sneakily enter. We'll see if I could do it. Probably not, but we'll try my best. So I think... We should be boarding pretty soon to go to Toronto, and we'll be good. Fun times. This way it wasn't too bad. Boarding the plane. Last one. I'm hyped. Let's go. Next up, Toronto. Toronto. The flight was honestly pretty good. Sat next to like a seven year old kid. He was actually really nice. His family's coming to Cancun. And I could tell he was kind of nervous, so I was just talking about like his trip and stuff like that, kind of distracting him. And I fell asleep. So I was able to, you could probably tell, I have a little bit more energy. So that's good at least. My Uber driver, he's been waiting in the parking lot. We're delayed like over an hour. And bro's been waiting in the parking lot, but I texted him that I'm off the plane and I'll give him updates on my bags and stuff. So then he can come pick me up and it should be all good from there. Yeah, pretty good flight, nonetheless. A lot less turbulence. Happy to be back in TO in the six. I'm just a six god, right? But this week, because every time I've gone down this escalator, Brittany's been there and I've been able to hug her and she won't be there this time. Usually should be should be right there. And that's where all our hellos are. It's fine, I still get to see you. My sister, I don't get to do it at the airport. There. Are we here? So now I just gotta wait for I don't know where I'm going. Bag number one has been acquired. I just need to wait for my duffel bag. Bag number two has been found. Okay, we're on the move again. Been in contact with the Uber driver, so it should be good for him picking me up. I think I'm going to the right place. We're golden. Process, I'm really good at it. Well, it's not that difficult either. Up until baggage, as soon as I get my bags, every time I come here, I just follow where Brittany and everyone's going. So this is the first time I've had to do this part by myself and take an Uber. I think I found the right spot. It said door D, which is where I'm at and pillar 24. So that says it's gonna wait for him. I think I'm gonna put the clip of that in the vlog. A lot of preparation. 
mainly by Maybird to uh, figure that out. So glad it finally worked. I don't. We don't have to keep that damn secret. It's been since like July that we haven't been able to say anything about it and like watch our words and stuff. So it worked and uh, we're just kind of finishing up packing. We're going to head out to America. America. What the fuck is a kilometer? <laughs> Guys, Uber the dogert. Woody. Woody. I just love when you answer me. It's my favorite.